RTSP stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol. Made by Netscape, Real Networks, and Columbia University, it was designed as a network control protocol to command streaming media servers. RTSP and its counterpart RTP have been around for over two decades, and they're not about to go away anytime soon. Why? IP cameras. Almost all IP cameras are designed to stream using RTSP. Generally speaking, they require a wired Ethernet connection and were made to be used on a closed network. In the past, they've been used largely for all types of security systems and, well, they still are, but they're also a big part of in-house productions. From your downtown stadium, house of worship, to even a small cable access channel, IP cameras are taking over. And why not? With power over Ethernet and remote pan tilt zoom controls, you only need one Ethernet cable connected to a camera for everything, and switching software manages the rest. So let's talk about the protocol. It's very low latency, sending a stream in under two seconds. It uses most of the standard codecs, and it transports using either UDP or TCP. On the downside, as mentioned, it's made for a closed network. So it needs a stable wired signal and high bandwidth to handle multiple cameras. For the stream to be pulled to a media server or switching software, you'll need to know the specific IP address of each camera. And last of all, it's not HTML5 compatible for playback, and there's only a few software players that will accept it. All of this can present issues with quality of experience, plus the protocol offers very limited scalability, and firewalls can present a big problem. With that in mind, RTSP may be the perfect low latency solution on a private network where you control all the variables. Should you need help in building out your system, we're here for you at Wowza.